Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back. <laughs> Today I am here with my weekly WIP and chat. Now WIP stands for work in progress and chat is pretty self-explanatory. So uh, today I'm going to be working on a diamond painting and I invite you to whip out your whip, whatever that looks like, and work alongside me. Let's chat and catch up just a little bit. I'm looking forward to the chance to just chat a little bit about what my week has been like and I can't wait to hear what yours has been like. Let me give you a really quick rundown on what I'll be using and working on tonight. Um, I always link to all of my tools and accessories and whatnot down in the description below if you wanna check out any of these small shops, which as always, I highly encourage you to do. Uh, so first, I'm gonna be working on, this is the kit Letting Go. It's from the artist Puffy Gator and was licensed by the shop Distracted by Diamonds. Um, as a diamond painting. Uh, Distracted by Diamonds is partnered, it's it's the same as the Patty Wax Etsy shop. Robin and Ben both own that shop and um, I got this piece a little while back and had started on it in uh, at the end of August and then didn't quite, didn't finish it before the end of the month so I tabled it um, until after Drills and Chills. <laughs> so I pulled it back out a little bit ago and uh, I'm in the home stretch. So we won't finish it in tonight's weapon chat, but I'm hoping that maybe after um, after I finish filming and whatnot, I may finish this tonight, we'll see. As far as pens and accessories go, so the pen I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be breaking in this brand new pen. Um, this is turned by Lazy River Wood Turning. I believe the blank is from Cocoon Blanks and the colors match so, so, so perfectly. And I just got this pen um, in some happy mail from them for my birthday, and I opened it yesterday. So yay, I'm excited to use that. Uh, in the single placer end, I will be using Not Your Mama's Mud in Amber Strawberry Lemon Drops scent. I'll be using Fall Farmhouse Scented Putty from Miranda's Crafty Corner in the multi-placer. And then this minder, <laughs> it's so sassy and I'm feeling a little bit sassy this week, I suppose. But I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? <laughs> uh, so this was a gift from my friend Jacqueline for my birthday. And um, I don't remember what shop it's from. I'll try to remember to send her a message and check on that before um, I put this video up. So if you're looking for snarky minders for yourself. This uh, tray is very appropriately themed. This is from Unimade and uh, was part of a custom order that I snagged on the 1st of October. And I had it personalized. She has a personalization option now. So this one is sparkly and pinks. This is the one I chose to have personalized with diamonds and washi. <laughs> and the name of this color, I believe is birthday party. So we are very much in keeping with the theme. Now I don't have a practical use for my minder today because I'm on like the last row and so I just peel the plastic all I just cut it and peel it all the way off but we're gonna have that little snarky reminder for us here. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? I hope you're doing wonderfully. It's Sunday evening here and all is quiet. My kids are in bed. Adam is helping. Um, it's the, he's doing the usual. He's helping a friend with a film project. Um, and oh, the nice thing with that project though is that the schedule shifted during the month of November and now it's, it's later, which means he'll be out later, but he doesn't leave until later either. So we actually get some family time up until about mid afternoon and that's been really, really nice. <laughs> um, occasionally, and I suppose more often recently, I've been getting questions about how I, like what waxes I like to use and how I like to load waxes or tips or tricks that I have for loading wax, like Not Your Mama's Mud. Um, I haven't touched this playlist in a year now, I don't think, but I have a couple of videos in a wax series where I talk about a couple of my favorite waxes. And this was again, as of like a year ago, but a lot of those tips, and tricks still do apply. So uh, I'll link that in the description if you'd like to check it out. So 
I, um, before I forget, that's right, that's right, before I forget, it's, I even have a note here. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I have um, done quick thank yous for those of you that have supported me through Buy Me a Coffee. Um, so super, super quick and, and brief plug here, but I do have um, two uh, options, I suppose, if you are interested in supporting my channel above and beyond the amazing thing that you're doing just by watching my videos. Uh, but I have uh, one thing called Buy Me a Coffee, which is just where if you want to make a one-time donation uh, in financial support of my channel, um, I always try to thank the people that have donated through there in my whip and chats. And um, anything that comes in through there goes straight back into my channel. If you're interested in getting some perks, um, so, such as I do weekly vlogs and I have a monthly exclusive live and um, if you want to be a part of like helping me decide what kits to work on next and what kind of content to focus on I also have a patreon which functions as a monthly kind of subscription service you may have seen other creators have patreon as well it's just a chance for you to um, get to be part of a smaller community with your favorite creators or creatives. Lots of artists have Patreon and whatnot, um, but you also get some perks in return. So anyway, I'm gonna have both of those linked below. If you wanna check it out at the beginning of the month, is it's a good time to check out Patreon since they always bill on the first of the month, no matter what. But please, please know that there's never any obligation. Um, it's just a chance for me to get to know some of you guys a little bit better and share more about, you know, behind the scenes and like my personal life and things about the channel and whatnot. Anyway, back to the important thing. I really want to thank a few people that have bought me coffees on Buy Me A Coffee in the past couple weeks. So first, um, Welsh M bought me a coffee and said, thanks for the wonderful spirit of flight comparison videos. M. Oh, thank you so much for buying me a coffee, M. And I'm so glad that you enjoyed the spirit of flight comparison videos. Those are a labor of love. I still have a couple straggler videos post reviews mostly that I have to get up for that series but it's been I was just it's been a busy few weeks for me <laughs> but it's on the list I hope that those will be helpful for you as well also Katia bought me a coffee and said thought I would get you caffeinated on this Monday morning I think she bought this for me a week ago today actually and she said uh, they said love your videos and I am very appreciative of all the hard work you put into your channel much love from Katia oh thank you I you guys encouragement like that it just it is so uplifting and it means the world to me so thank you so much for the kind words and for caffeinating me on a Monday morning <laughs> I always need that. Finally, the fabulous Call Me KK bought me a coffee on, well, yesterday for me, two days ago for you guys, and just said, happy birthday. So thank you so much for the birthday wishes and the birthday coffee, my friend. I super, super appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. So um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I took a, a minute to thank those fabulous people. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, so really quick, I wanna have another quick announcement up front with you guys. So um, originally, Jessica, Tiny Worlds of Wonder, and I had been planning on having our uh, grand prize announcement, um, grand prize winners announcements, and like the final, um, like the highlight reels and whatnot for Drills and Chills up this past weekend. And then for a number of, different reasons um uh jessica did say i could share she had a, a death in the family so please 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 send all of the positive and kind and encouraging thoughts her way um and of course i said don't worry about the drills and chills video like let's Let's just shift that to next weekend and I'll handle, like you don't even have to worry about doing a video, like I'll handle um, doing all of the announcements. So that that is why there's been that delay and when I had initially said what our plans were for those videos, that's why that changed. And I'm, I'm quite sure that you will understand. Um, and uh, I would of course ask that um, you you know respect Jessica's privacy, but she did share that uh, she did say that I could share that much with you all. So just yeah, send lots of love her way, um, and of course give her tons and tons of grace because the very last thing that she should be worrying about right now is YouTube videos. But um, we will be um, I will 
be contacting the winners for both her prizes and mine this week ahead of putting that video up is my goal um she's already drawn hers i'm gonna draw mine and we're just it's it's a process because we just want to verify that everyone you know follow the rules and whatnot and um coordinate getting those prizes sent out so just like i said wanted to share that quick announcement here i'll i'll put up a post on my community tab as well because i know not everyone watches my whip and chats which how dare you no i'm kidding um the, the <laughs> whip and chats aren't for everyone especially mine when they're very chatty and lengthy <laughs> but yes yeah, so um stay tuned thank you guys for being so understanding and so gracious we both super super appreciate it um uh so i just wanted to say a huge thank you again to everyone that came out and hung out at my birthday live on Saturday. That was, oh my gosh, that was so, so, so much fun. And honestly, like it just felt like I was getting to have a birthday party with a bunch of my friends. And I was just thinking about how much this community has impacted me personally and what a difference it's made in my life like it's not just the diamond painting craft it's the people in this community um you guys are incredible i love how we cheer each other on and lift one another up and um it just i i got super sappy at one point in my life <laughs> in my birthday life because that's just me i can get super sentimental <laughs> and um I won't go too far down that rabbit hole you're here too, but uh, I just, I couldn't imagine uh, like a birthday without spending some time with my friends, which includes my online friends. <laughs> so thank you to all of you that came out or that um, watched the replay. I know Saturday morning, at least Saturday morning, my time that doesn't necessarily work for everyone, but fun times were had. Um, I am... I'm cracking up that um, so staff of the Lazy River wood turning variety had uh, told me ahead of time she's like there's I'm sending you a package we're sending you a package and she said you can open it in the live but the requirement is that you have to read the front of the card in the live and I said okay um, as long as it's not going to get me kicked off of YouTube. Um, and she said, well, how do you feel about poultry? So if you were in the live, you know. But I think that she didn't expect me to follow through. And I think I shocked the heck out of everyone by following through. Um, <laughs> so what we've determined is that I can be silly and mildly inappropriate and also that Steph is actually secretly like one of the sweetest people on the face of the planet um, but if you want some good laughs and to hear me say something that like you probably won't ever hear me say on my channel again um, you can hop over to that live <laughs> see that's all that's all I'll say <laughs> Um, it was, it was a really, really fun day just overall. I woke up, well, first off, the kids let me sleep in a little bit. Um, besides Connor who came in to like give me a, a very sweet hug and snuggle with me for a few minutes before he promptly took himself downstairs to play on his tablet. And I'm like, this is the life, <laughs> you know, he can get himself some breakfast. I don't have to be involved. Um, Micah, on the other hand, thank goodness that kid just, you know, like sleeps in. <laughs> but um, so the kids let me sleep in a bit, but I still woke up to um, a text from a friend that was like, you know, hey, birthday lady, there is a birthday coffee waiting for you at your door. And she's like, I knocked, but no one answered. But Connor waved at me. <laughs> and it was like, I'm sorry. The kids were letting us sleep. But that was so nice to wake up to like she knows what my drink is she got me a venti like i got to just have that iced coffee i'm one of those people if i have like an iced coffee like that a cold brew i will just 
nurse it all throughout the day. Like it doesn't matter if the ice is melted and watered it down. It's fine. It's like second drink. So um, that was a really nice way to wake up. Another thing that was really fun to wake up to was a surprise email from Reggie over at Die Moon Shop. And he was like, happy birthday, Katie. Just wanted to let you know that um, we, we thought we'd make your birthday code or sorry, your affiliate code for Die Moon Shop good for, um, it'll add 10% off uh, for the next 24 hours. And um, you can share that obviously like with your friends and viewers and whatnot. I was like, oh my gosh, yay, thank you so, so much. And of course then promptly placed an order for myself too. <laughs> um, I, hadn't, I, I hadn't placed an order in a, a month, month and a half and I had several kits on my wish list and I thought so. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, so that was really fun to wake up to. It just, it was just a nice birthday all around. Um, and uh, we didn't have, my mom wasn't here. She had had to fly out the day before. And then she did laugh and say, I don't know how I managed to plan it this way. Because uh, she was flying up to visit my, my brother and his significant other his girlfriend they've been dating a long time so I feel like girlfriend I don't know if that's really the right, right word anymore but um anyway her birthday is just a few days before mine and so my mom was with me on her birthday and then was with her and Sean on my birthday she's like I don't know what I was thinking I'm like mom it's fine it's just a day she's like I know but it's your birthday I'm like it's it's really fine I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go get on a YouTube live <laughs> And hang out with my kids and drink my birthday coffee um but yeah it was it was a relaxing day and Adam and I had talked and I had said you know if you want like you can just make this um Texas trip this like kid free solo getaway that I am doing um in January I was like we can just make that my birthday gift um but he did he he had a, a sweet thing on there he was like you know, why don't you plan to like do these photo ops and this and that and the other thing. So yay. Speaking of, I got an amazing deal. And did you, here's my question for you. Did you really get an amazing deal on something if you don't tell everyone about it? <laughs> I am one of those people that like, if I am wearing like a cute, dress or have like a cute purse or something and I got like a really good deal on it if someone compliments me on it I'll immediately be like oh my gosh you won't like thank you I got it on sale I got it on this like amazing deal I'm one of those people I'm also one of those people that if I am wearing a dress that has pockets and someone says oh I like your dress I'll be like thanks it has pockets and do the like hands in the pockets and the little like twirl thing um, if you know, you know, like if you do the same thing, like I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> what is it with people and dresses that have pockets? Um, it's magical really. So where was I going? Okay. Back up. This is what my brain does. I joke and say that I have ADD. I don't have ADD. My husband does, but my brain does really similar rabbit trails and I can, I can follow the trail, but I want to bring it back around. <laughs> so I was talking about the deal that I got. Um, I have been watching flight prices for this Texas trip, um, checking like multiple different websites and watching just to see like, okay, when is going to be the right time to buy? And then on Friday, I think Thursday or Friday, um, I was doing my usual like checking the different websites. Then I was on the Southwest website. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're, they dropped a bunch of their rates. I think they are running us. They were slash are running some kind of sale. Um, but I mean, it was like, Adam, 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 <laughs> this is so dirt cheap. I have to book it ASAP. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I told you to book it whenever. <laughs> um, so I, I was able to book my flight to Texas from California and mercifully not out of LAX because I hate flying out of LAX. 
It is well, it's a long drive from where we are. The parking situation is a nightmare. Even if you want someone to drop you off, like the turn, it's just, it's always a hot mess. I don't want anything to do with it. So I was able to get a flight out of one of the, like, there's a few different, like, smaller airports in, you know, Orange County and LA County. And I was able to get a flight out of one of those to Houston for, wait for it, $49. Now, that is that is one way. But then I was able to get my flight back, again, to the same airport for $89. So I'm flying round trip for less than $150. That is bananas. And I'm so excited about this deal. You're going to hear me talking about it forever. Um, but I'm excited because both flights are nonstop. They're at the exact times of day that I wanted. And I get to fly out of not LAX. I am so flipping excited. Um, and I'm like, I saved so much money at Southwest. That includes two checked bags, so I don't have to pay checked bag fees. It has free flight changes if something comes up and I need to change my trip last minute. Basically, I feel like I hit the jackpot when it came to booking that flight. I'm so excited. And with a flight I was able to book coming back to California, I think that I may have... I really may still have time to visit a couple of friends in Dallas that I really want to meet up with. And if I can swing it, I might be able to, to do a little trip down to Craftably. Because um, if you didn't know, Craftably, they, they sell di licensed diamond paintings. And they have a storefront. They have a storefront in, is it Fort Worth? It's, it's near-ish Dallas from what I understand. Anyway, I am so stinking excited for that trip. If you are in my Patreon, I will, yes, I will absolutely be vlogging my way all through that trip because you know what? I'm not going to have my kids with me. And so I will be footloose and fancy free. Do people still say that or did I just age myself quite a bit? I did just have a birthday. I'm a whole nother year older and I am now at the wise old age of 33. At least that one's easy to remember. I feel like quite frankly for the past year I've had to like sit and try to remind myself am I 31 or 32? Did I actually get to 33? But now I'm at 33 and I'm like okay I can remember this. <laughs> this this part is easy so for the next year I've got this. Um. I don't know what it is, you guys. I blame my children for my memory <laughs> or lack thereof. Um, so like I mentioned, my mom was in town for a good part of this past week and we had a really nice time together. It worked out well because Connor was back in school. Uh, he had missed most of the first week that my mom was here because he had had that close um, you know what exposure? Ooh, yes. Steph said, let's call it Voldemort from now on. So Micah had, or Connor had a close Voldemort exposure, um, and had to, even though he tested negative, still had to miss school for several days. So my mom and I didn't get to do like our fun kid-free morning plans, <laughs> um, which it was really, it was fine. It worked out nice because then we got some extra time. She got some extra time with Connor, um, on her visit and we instead this past week got to do a little bit more just the two of us including going for a pedicure um it was such a nice pedicure and i really realized that i've been going not that i get pedicures very often honestly but i realized apparently i've just been really truly going to the wrong kinds of places for pedicures even though like they looked fine and whatnot like i realized oh <laughs> during a pedicure I shouldn't be constantly like worried, like especially when they're like clipping your nails and, um, you know, doing the stuff with your cuticles. I don't know what they're doing, but they come at it with like the snips, and I just am always like, is it gonna hurt? Are they gonna pinch? Like, what's gonna happen? Um, and this time I didn't have that at all, and I was like, oh, this is so much more relaxing. <laughs> Please judge away, but 
I did crack up because while yes, it was extremely relaxing and was such a nice pedicure, I cracked up because partway through it, um, the gal that was doing my pedicure uh, was like getting something from her, you know, workstation. And she glanced up at my face as she paused for a second. She was like, do you want an eyebrow wax? And I was like, oh no, <laughs> apparently I need to fix my face. <laughs> And I was so embarrassed and taken aback in the moment. I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> but as soon as I got home, I was, I had my tweezers and I was like, I got to fix this. <laughs> if she, and it was, it had gotten a little bit bad, but I just was like, I love the complete, like shameless, like takes one look at my face and goes, you want an eyebrow wax? <laughs> I should have taken her up on it. Like, you know, <laughs> but I was like, I can't go into my birthday live and what if I get comments about like wow Katie your eyebrows mm, <laughs> you should have gotten those wax <laughs> beforehand but um you know what you need people in your life to keep you humble <laughs> make sure they that you get knocked down a peg every once in a while <laughs> uh but yeah my my mom and I got to do a little bit of shopping as well because of course we did we had brunch at this this restaurant that I hadn't been to before but had heard a lot about and they had like and it wasn't IHOP but it had like every kind of pancake and and like griddle food under the sun and it was even like weirdly specific regional things like my mom got like the Nebraska corn pancakes, which actually there's, she left a couple of those leftovers like in my fridge. Maybe I'll have like one for a snack tonight because I want to try one. <laughs> Just a pancake for a snack. I will have a breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I had the most amazing brioche French toast. And it had like a chopped up fresh banana. It had some like chopped pecans on it. And then this like magical whipped cream that, or cream cheese something. And it was just decadent and delicious. And is anyone else team like eat brunch food all day? Like happily eat brunch food all day? Because me, that, that is me. Um, I am Leslie Nope in the sense that like I just waffles are one of my favorite foods. Um, yes, so <laughs> delicious brunch. Tried out a new brunch place. I was like, Mom, we are rocking the stereotypes. Let's let's keep on doing our doing our stereotypical thing here. Um, but it was a little. It's always a little bit bittersweet to say goodbye because. Um, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to live across the country from family. I know there are people that live literally in different countries from their families. Um, and, you know, of, of course, like that's incredibly difficult as well. But it just, it got a lot harder once we had kiddos. But we are planning to fly back for Christmas. We do need to book those tickets. But I just, I hate hate booking Christmas like holiday travel because it's so expensive but I need to not avoid it because it's just gonna get more expensive speaking of avoiding things I was very proud of myself because today I had the spoons I finally went through our stack of bills and paid them <laughs> um, I just had had a stack of like stuff I needed to go through and bills that needed to be paid that I just, I'm an avoider. My therapist reminds me of this often. She's like, you you would rather avoid than deal with um, the, the, the hard stuff. And I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, but part of it is like, part of it is executive dysfunction. You know, some of it comes with like the depression anxiety that I regularly struggle with. As always, my channel and I am a very like, pro mental health and um, end the stigma surrounding mental health. So that's something you're going to hear me talk very, very openly about. Um, and it, it's the kind of thing that it I think it helps when other people can hear that they're not alone in what they're struggling with. 
Um, but yeah, I have struggled with depression and depression basically since I was a teenager and anxiety that started after I had kids that I needed to get help for. Um, and it's, it's interesting the ways that depression and anxiety can manifest that don't look like what you'd expect when you think depression and anxiety. Um, and one of those things is executive dysfunction where even like tasks that should be incredibly simple and you probably beat yourself up about like why can't I just pay the bills it is so easy I don't even have to get on the phone I just have to get the bill go to the website the computer is going to like it's that my my, my computer is going to literally autofill my credit card or debit card information for me this is the easiest thing in the world. Why can't I just do it? It's not because you are bad at life. It's so, 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 so often because um, mental health sucks. <laughs> Struggling with your mental health sucks. Um, so please cut yourself some slack if you have found yourself in those shoes. Uh, and that's where I had been with this stack of bills for a while. And it's stuff like, I need to pay the car registration. I had to pay our property taxes. I need to pay X, Y, and Z. And it just had turned into this, what felt like this just like whole thing. Because the longer you don't do the thing, the more of a thing it becomes. And then you're embarrassed because you haven't done the thing yet. And then it just, it spirals. It completely spirals. If you have struggled with this as well, you know exactly what I am talking about. So this morning though, um, I did wake up and I had the spoons to work on this thing. Spoons, quick recap. Um, spoon theory is this idea that uh, you wake up in the morning and you have a certain amount of spoons to get you through the day. Um, and lots of, lots of times people with chronic illness or mental illness, uh, mental health struggles will, will refer to this. And I do as well, that with things like depression and anxiety or chronic health conditions, you don't, you almost never know like how many spoons you're going to wake up with, like how much energy you're going to have for the day. And it's like, you wake up and it's like, okay, I have 10 spoons for the day. Getting dressed takes two spoons making dinner is going to take three spoons, paying the bills is going to take six spoons or something like that. And so you just have to figure out like, okay, what do I have the energy for? What do I have the margin for to do today? Um, so anyway, I was like, I can do it today. I, I'm going to pay the bills. And so I did. And it, once they were done, it just felt like a whole load off my shoulders. And I tried not to get too caught up in telling myself like, okay, like, was that so hard? Why did that take so long? And also like, what are the consequences of you having put this off so long? Because one of the things I had to submit was like a rebate for Adam's contacts for this year. And I hadn't read the fine print ahead of time. And it was like, this needs to be submitted within 60 days of purchase. Well, guess what? It's been about 70 days at this point because that's how long the stupid pile of stuff has been sitting there. So I submitted it anyway and crossed my fingers that they're going to accept it anyway because it's like $200. Like, that is not a small amount of money. Like, yeah, no. Um, but yeah, so I'm like, oh, great. Now I get to deal with like the fallout of having put this thing off. So it just... It is a vicious cycle, but today I am choosing to focus on the positive and to focus on what I can control and what I feel like I do have the margin for. Uh, today, speaking of other things that happened today, it probably helped that um, my my in-laws, Adam's parents were in town to uh, finish up closing on the home that they bought. Um, they are moving out here next summer, which is going to be really fun. I'm not going to go into the whole story, but basically they were out here to tie up those loose ends and they're just out here for the long weekend. But they came up today to spend some time with us because this was kind of their one free day in all of this. And we spent the morning with them and then 
as kind of like a birthday gift and also just as a like, hey, let us, you know, be helpful. And also we'll get some time with the grandkids. Um, they stayed home with the kiddos and Adam and I went to a movie. And you guys, I've talked about before how much like going to movies is just one of Adam and I's very favorite date things to do. Um, yes, he is like heavily involved in like the filmmaking aspect of things like he moonlights as a screenwriter and director and all the things um in addition to his day job and you know being a dad and a what a husband i almost called him a wife uh, a husband and like doing all of the things so but no we still love 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 movies and we decided to go see the eternals which is the new marvel movie it was so it, it was good and i um, I screeched during the mid credits sequence. Don't worry, no spoilers. I don't do spoilers, but um, just at one of the people that was in there, <laughs> and the whole theater actually reacted. Um, don't worry, that I'm not going to say anything else. But I have to give super props to our theater that they at this point, at this point, if you have seen Marvel movies, if you have not had your head. In the sand, you know that Marvel movies always, 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 always have a mid and or post credit scene. You do not leave the theater <laughs> until like the screen has like gone black because they will do like a mid credit scene and then like a post credit scene, which yes means you have to sit in there for that much longer. But props to our theater because no one got up when the credits started. It's like everyone knew. Some people got up after the mid credits scene and I was like, okay, no, 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 sit back down. There's more, there's always more. Um, but yeah, so that was, it was fun. It was a little different than um, sort of your standard kind of formulaic like Marvel movie. It was nice in that way. And Adam and I, Adam and I liked it. Um, we went to a dine-in theater, which was, you know, the the splurge for my birthday. But I was bummed because I think because of health restrictions and whatnot that they they no longer like come to your seat to take your order. And that was really convenient because my sweet tooth is gonna show. But it was really convenient because you would just push a button on your seat and someone would come to your seat and take your order. And you could do that even in the middle of the movie. They were super discreet and quiet and whatnot. But I liked doing that because we could get like a meal. And then once we finished our meal and there's, you know, just, you know, we're halfway through the movie or something, then I can order dessert. I know, I know. But look, they have these churros that are bomb. They're so, so, so good but they're really only good if you get them hot. And I didn't wanna order dessert at the same time I was ordering dinner because anyway, so I didn't get churros, it was fine. I got, what well, wasn't even dinner, it was lunch, but I did get like a sandwich um, and it was delicious. But I was like, oh, I hope that, I hope that soon it's gonna be safe for them to reinstate that. We only do that like maybe once or twice a year because it is so much more expensive like for the tickets themselves and the food and the tip like it's just it can be a lot and so it's a special treat for things like birthdays and the like just because and let's go blow some money <laughs> um i got another color this kit is so confetti heavy like i this has taken me i feel like dispropor disproportionately longer to work on than a round kit in this size should have at least compared to how i was cranking out kits for drills and chills but oh well that's okay um what else so let's talk about the time change for a second because the time changed last night for me again i'm filming this on a sunday and i just i'm over it this is this is your um, one of your twice a year complaints slash PSAs from Katie at Diamonds and Washi because <laughs> I, I complain about this every single time. Um, the time change is dumb and they should abolish it. Uh, it has proven, like the research has shown 
that it is terrible for people's physical and mental health. There's like an increased number of heart attacks and car accidents and all of the things because of the time changing. And it also like on a less like drastic large scale level, it is a massive pain in the butt when you are a parent because your kids don't, especially with really young children, your kids don't care what the clock says. They are used to their schedule, darn it. So at least with fallback, um, like with this time change, all I have to do is just keep them up a little bit like later <laughs> because eight o'clock feels like nine o'clock to them. And so it was like a whole thing today where I had to like tell Connor like, okay, we're going to split the difference. So instead of going upstairs at eight o'clock, we're going to go up at 730. No, I want to go up at eight o'clock. So I'm trying to explain the time change to my autistic six year old who thrives on structure and is like, why are we changing things? And I'm trying to be like, no, 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 no. You'll thank me because you're going to be a hot mess if you try to go to bed an entire hour later than your body is used to being awake. And so I'm trying to explain the time change to him, try not to inject all of my bitterness around the whole concept in this conversation with him. And finally, I, you know, did what I often um, what Adam and I often resort to, which is I gave him a, cho a choice between two things and both things were wins for me. So I was like, well, you can pick buddy. We can go up at 7.30 or 7.35. So he just, of course, picked 7.35 because that was a later time. But this was one of those, thankfully, one of those rare instances where like just the, um, just giving him a choice at all, like, made him chill out like okay I've decided I still have some power in this um and that's that is like one of the most valuable lessons I feel like I've learned as a parent is like if your strategy is to give your child choices so that they feel like empowered and so they stop fighting you for every little thing like go ahead and do that but the key is make sure that both of those choices are things that you are good with you know like either one is a win for you like for me five minutes doesn't make a single difference I don't care he can pick between 7 30 and 7 35 um and either one is completely fine with me <sighs> but yes no I I really strongly dislike the time change especially like tonight or today where it just felt like it was dark well before we were even like ready to eat dinner and the kids were thrown and I don't know I'm one of those people that I guess I have a really good sense of time and like at sort of randomly any given time throughout the day I without looking at a clock will just sort of have a sense for like what time it is down to like within five minutes or so because I'm ridiculous like that um look I thrive on <laughs> I thrive on a schedule, okay? I'm my son's mother. <laughs> um, and so it's just been throwing me off all day because in my head I'm going, oh good, like we're coming up on the kids' bedtime and everything. And I look at the clock and I'm like, nope, one hour till bedtime. Um, or like, oh yeah, like the kids are saying that they're, you know, they're starting to feel hungry. I'm starting to feel hungry. It must be time for dinner. Look at the clock. Nope, it's only four o'clock. Like <laughs> that's, that's not going to work. So... Anyone else with me? Can we just, can we dump the time change already and just pick one and stick to it? I'm trying to remember, is it, is it the time that it was before now that like researchers or whatever state say that we should stick to? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining about that, but I am slightly slash very jealous of people that live in areas that don't do the time change. They're like, yeah, nah, we're good. <laughs> um, but I, I'm not planning to move to any of those places myself. Uh, Arizona, isn't there parts of Illinois or something? And obviously like other countries, do you do the time change? Where you're at, are you dealing with the time change this weekend? And if you are a parent and dealing with the time change this weekend, Godspeed. Okay. Things coming up this week. Um, I am really, really excited it, about the kit I'm going to be working on next. So if you were in my live, which the replay is still up, you can go watch it. I know it's super, super long. It's, I think I went for almost two hours because I was just having tons of fun. 
Naturally, Micah came up and crashed the party, and it turned out this was so cute. He just wanted to hang out with me. You guys, like the whole last half hour of the live, he was just sitting next to me on the floor, happy as a clam, playing on his tablet, and just happy to be in the same room as me. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but uh so i should have just let him come up and hang out and not tried to make a thing out of it to begin with earlier <laughs> but anyway he does he does make an appearance um very briefly and of course in noise you'll hear him quite a bit anyway that live is still up if you would like to go and see but i did share the kit in there that i will be doing a sneak peek on this week and i was able to share it in there because as it turned out Diamond Art Club has shared this kit in their, there's a sponsored post that if you like Diamond Art Club's page or, or are in like diamond painting groups, it's probably come up for you. Mostly I see it on Facebook. I don't know that I really see it on Instagram, but it's a sponsored, it's like an ad um, that Diamond Art Club runs. It's the first part of the clip is like someone diamond painting Scooby-Doo. Um, but anyway, the kit I'm going to be doing a sneak peek for this week is in that video. So I shared as much in the live and I had asked everyone, I was like, this is the kind of kit that I'm torn. Do I want to work on it immediately because I'm so excited about it? Um, and I've been waiting for this kit for a really long time. Uh, so do I work on it right away because of that? Or do I add it to my rainy day? the rainy day kits in my stash. I, I call um, a small subset of my stash my rainy day kits. And those are just the kits that have special meaning to me in some way. Um, whether like I am absolutely and completely in love with the artwork or if they have some, another kind of special meaning to me, like, you know, the very first kit that I was sent as a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club or something like that, or... Um, kits from an artist that have or kits that have since been discontinued since I purchased them I don't know there's there's a few kits in that stash and I was like this kit has the potential to fall into that category is that what I want to do or should I just work on it and I feel like basically everyone in the chat was like life's too short work on the kit so I'll be finishing up letting go either tonight or tomorrow and then tomorrow morning while the kids are in school, my plan is to go ahead and film my sneak peek unboxing of that kit. I'm gonna start it this week. So um, one of my friends was like, was it Steph or Jacqueline was like, yeah, you should totally film that sneak peek unboxing, start the kit, and wouldn't it be hysterical if you had it done by the time it officially releases on Saturday? And I was like, it's a square drill kit. It's not, I'm pretty sure it's actually, I don't remember. Is it a square drill kit? I think it's a square drill kit. Wait, it's sitting over there. It's a square drill kit and it's not tiny. I don't know that it's going to go that fast. I was like, but it'll be fun to like have, have started on it um, before it actually releases. That'll be super, super fun. So I'm excited. Uh, this is one of those kits that, um, like I said, I had my eye on for a while. Diamond Art Club had con confirmed in the VIP group, I think over the summer, that this particular kit had been licensed. This piece had been licensed and had been in production and was in production. And I might have said this already. I've said it in a couple of different places now. And per usual, I cannot remember where I have said this. So if you're having deja vu, it's my fault. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say that I I am not one to like ask Diamond Art Club like to request specific sneak peeks ahead of time or like try to call dibs at all. Um, that's, I just, I feel like that would, I don't know. I don't feel like I should do that <laughs> just for me. Um, but when I saw that they had confirmed this kit, this was an exception where I just contacted them and I said, if if at all possible, like I am obsessed with this artwork and I've been so excited about the possibility of you guys getting this kit from this artist. Is there any chance that I might be able to share this one as a sneak peek when it releases? And they're like, yeah, of course. Um, so that was super, super, super generous and kind of them. 
Um, but yes, so <laughs> I am so excited. And you guys will find out what it is this week, I promise. <laughs> um, but as far as videos go this week, as always, I seem to have a backlog of videos that I want to get up, but it was, again, this past week was much like the week before where it was just, it was so nice to not have videos going up every single day. I had a lot of videos go up last week, but most of them had already been filmed and were a little bit easier to edit together for the most part. Um, but I just, I really thoroughly enjoyed that there were multiple evenings last week that I wasn't having to spend time editing and uploading videos and whatnot. I feel like I had the chance to actually catch up on some of my emails and some of my comments. And then I felt like I really just got to enjoy my birthday, you know, like I just kicked back <laughs> and relaxed and it was, yeah, it was good. So I need to sit down and map out exactly what videos I do want to put up this week. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be semi-regular as always. Um, I love to hear what your plans are for the week and how your weekend was. I'm just going to work on, I'm almost finished with this section. So I'm going to go ahead and try to finish it up with you guys here. And that should be perfect timing. I think, because am I, yes, I'm coming up on one hour-ish um, for this whip and chat. Uh, and I, I really do enjoy doing these weekly whip and chats and getting to check in with you all. Um, and I'm curious what your thoughts are on length, which maybe this isn't the time to ask because if you've made it all the way to the end of my video, you probably don't mind the longer lengths. But if you're more of like, I need shorter videos, please, and you've already checked out, then this question isn't super helpful. But um, similar to how I had asked recently about how you guys felt about um, how regularly creators put videos up, because I was trying to figure out like, is six videos a week, which is on nearly daily videos from me or from any single creator like is that too overwhelming for you or are you like give me all the videos <laughs> um similar to that i'd love your feedback on women chats you know are you um and actually also kind of on unboxings <laughs> because i noticed that some of my unboxings have gotten kind of lengthy like 25 to 30 minutes and i don't think most people's attention spans are quite that long um so if you have any thoughts to share on what you prefer as far as lengths of videos, you're welcome to to share. <laughs> um, I'd love to hear. So I have seen um, so many companies releasing so many amazing new kits and I feel like, oh my gosh, you guys, these companies are already releasing so much and it's not even Black Friday yet. Is anyone else saving up like crazy for Black Friday? Or are you seeing all these amazing sales that companies are doing and being like, okay, buy money, <laughs> just take all my money. Um, I'm, I'm a mix of both. So yay, okay, we finished the section. I'm gonna wrap up here in just a minute, but let me finish that thought. So um, I have a number of kits on my Diamond Art Club wish list that are, are the kinds of things that I would kind of like to buy. But what I'm thinking is that I want to wait and see if they're going to, like what categories they're gonna continue to put on sale. So like last week, Diamond Art Club had sent out like an email and a text that was like, oh yeah, like the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving each week, we're gonna have a different category of kits on sale. And last week it was what, landscapes or something? I'm hoping that they're gonna do like a fantasy um, and sci-fi category or something like that because I think that most of the kits on my wish list that I really want to snag fall into that category and I would go ahead and probably pick some of those up if they run 25% off on them um, but I still want the free shipping so <laughs> that's the kicker is I'm like I want to get these different kits but I want to get it on sale but I want to order enough that I hit the th free shipping threshold even after the the sale price so we will see i'm gonna be keeping an eye on it 
But I also feel like I need to be saving for Black Friday because I'm hearing that Diamond Art Club, like, did you guys remember the, the, the insane number of releases that they dropped last Black Friday? Uh, my impression is that we're looking at something at, at, at that scale, you know? So I'm like, oh, I should probably be saving. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. What's your approach? <laughs> are you buying all the things? I also am seeing like Craftably is running a sale. Um, Craft Ease was running a sale. Like lots of these shops are still running sales right now. And I'm like, oh, I want all the things. <laughs> Excuse me. Yawning. I don't normally yawn in my whip and chats. I yawn in my Patreon vlogs all the time um, and get made fun of, of for it a lot. So go ahead and make fun <laughs> here too. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. If you made it all the way to the end, um, can you put up so, like the confetti emoji just in honor of my birthday? And I promise I'm not going to be one of those people that's like birthday month. But I did kind of in my head have a little bit of a birthday weekend. Um, so, yeah, a confetti or birthday hat emoji, something like that. Um, and... Yeah, just if you made it all the way to the end. <laughs> anyway, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out in my whip and chat this week. I enjoyed getting to catch up with all of you and chat your ears off for the past hour. Be sure to let me know what you were working on. Let me know how your weekend was and anything fun you have coming up this week. Let me know if you're doing all the shopping or if you've put yourself on a no buy until Black Friday. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys have a really, really wonderful week. Uh, quick note though, as always, if you made it to the end of the video and you're not already subscribed, you'll probably like it here. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And um, on your way out, friends, if you enjoyed this whip and chat, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. That always just helps out my videos a little bit. So thanks again for hanging out and for watching. I hope you guys have a really fantastic week and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.